Okay, so I'm back. Hey, Robert, once again, I'm a smart profit money. Okay, in this video, I will be covering the easiest way to start a new business for 2022. That's right. I know we're still in 21, but we're going to go 22 because it's about that time. We're just kind of getting close, and I think it's pretty much, we should just say, let's just do the video for 2022. So the reason why I'm doing this, I'm trying to answer some of the questions that we get. We don't get a whole bunch, but just some of the ones that people get, and they kind of like want to see some of the close-ups of what we're doing. And I said, not a problem. I've been gone for a while, so I want to come back and really give people what they really want because I always tell everybody, if you see something on our YouTube channel or you see me talking about something and you want me to do a video on it, then go ahead and send it over. So that's what this video is. So I'm excited to get started. Let's go ahead and do this so I can show you how I did that. Okay, so I'm back. Should be able to see my pointer on screen. Okay, like always, I may go and explain how the video is going to go. We should be running 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes on time. Depends how interesting this gets. I don't have pretty much anything laid out. I'm just going to go ahead and go with what the questions the questions were that people were asking. So I'm going to just try to get those out. And I got some cool stuff already laid out to show you guys. And hope you know we're just going to dive right into this. So again, this video is going to be covering. What's the easiest way to start a business for 2022 or, you know, 21, because we're coming out of 21 and that's what we're doing. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. And again, we're going to go into the kind of like a PowerPoint thing, the Canva thing. I'm going to show you the things that we got laid out. We're going to show you that, show you exactly how things work. Maybe the, some of the products that you guys need. If you're lost and confused on that, I will cover that. And the way we kind of do some of the businesses that we're in and just go with that. So let's just go ahead and dive right into this. Okay, I did drink a lot of coffee, so if I'm flying and talking over myself, sorry, but I was falling asleep. So it always works to get one of these, even though they have a lot of calories, but it's good. Okay, so number one. So it depends, there's always different types of businesses that you guys will probably fall into. If you look at some of the videos on my YouTube channel, we cover a lot of social media marketing because that's what we basically do. So we teach that kind of stuff. There's many things that we do on my end. We sell courses, we do the social media marketing. So that would be the two big things that we do and we offer website services. So there's maybe three things that we specialize in, but I would say let's stick to the two. Okay, so I, on my screen here, let's go ahead and look at this really quick. We're gonna scroll down. Now this is jam packed. So if you guys wanna get into selling social media marketing and creating your own agency then that's what this is you can see that we offer three niches these niches are already all set up we even give you the big list that you guys need to go after clients all that stuff and we show you all kinds of different things i'll dive into that more in one second but if you're wondering what this is i'm just going to keep scrolling down and everything's already been set up and i'll get into this more but let's just go ahead and talk about a few things first so if you guys are cruising around there on youtube and you're like well i think it's time for me to start something online and you're not really sure if you should use wordpress or another platform that's the main de uh, decision I can't even say the word this the main decision you should make when you are always starting a new business online are you going to use wordpress you're going to use click funnels which is probably the most popular platform out there, but it costs a lot to use. If you're just starting out and you don't know how to get around online much, it probably would help you a lot to use ClickFunnels, but it is expensive. If you wanted to learn how to use WordPress, which is, I think is just as easy once you have your hosting set up, it's super easy. So, and you own everything. If you use WordPress, I always recommend WordPress. That's what we do. We like to own our own stuff for our own business. When I mean by stuff, we own our own websites. We own our own landing pages, everything. So there's a lot of things that you can use, but it's always, it always, I always like to say, choose a platform that you're comfortable with. If you're going to try to do an online business and you're really thinking about, oh, I just want to use one of those other ones like Wix or something free, that just shows me and it should show yourself that your, your mindset is totally just trying to do the free thing and you're not really serious. 
I want you to look at it this way. Anybody doing an online business, a professional marketer like myself or any of my friends or anybody you see on YouTube, none of us use the free stuff. We invest a lot of money in the platforms that we want to use. It's either going to be click funnels or it's going to be WordPress. Those are the two number one funnels, not excuse me, platforms that you can use. So between those two, we spend quite a bit of money to get all the gadgets that we need. And somebody like myself, I mean, we have it all. We, we have everything. But when you're just starting out, you need to ask yourself that. If you go with one of the free ones, immediately, immediately as soon as you start to set things up and you start to sell things online is when it's not free anymore and they start to charge you. Then you're going to ask yourself, well, I should have listened to that guy Rob because he said as soon as they start charging you, then it doesn't make any sense. You're going to pay somebody anyhow. You might as well own your own thing and just get your own hosting and go through WordPress because you own everything and you don't have to pay a monthly fee. You just do it once. It's like $80 for hosting and then whatever you build is yours. I teach all that stuff on my YouTube channel for you guys to know more. So that's one of the main questions that I always get is what platform should I start with? There's so many people that we do meet that come across and are using another platform and they just are seeing that it's not working, they can't, they always say, well, how, how did you do that online? Cause you know, the little thing that I always say, let me show you how I did that. It's because we show people the custom things that we do, but they can only be done with WordPress or ClickFunnels. So WordPress offers all kinds of things. You have to learn how to do it, of course, and you have to be willing to learn all this stuff. The same with ClickFunnels. If you get into ClickFunnels, once you set everything up, you know, it's just click, click, click. That's why they call it click funnels. It builds the funnels pretty easy and, I mean, really easy. And you just add your text and your images and you're ready to go and you add your checkout. So we use a shopping cart and they use their built-in shopping cart, which you can set up PayPal or Stripe. So that's what you're going to do. Whatever you guys are setting up, you're going to set up your Stripe account. You're going to set up your PayPal account. You're going to set up landing pages. And that's how you start to do whatever you're going to do when you start to get things done but if you're gonna if you're trying to figure out well what kind of business can i do one business that i want to talk about now of course and you if you watch me i always seem to plug this in but it's because this is what we do is social media marketing so let's take a look at that now so you guys understand what it is what it is is you're basically offering to existing businesses that you can do all the marketing for them. It's going to be like run Facebook ads, Google ads, all that. So if I scroll down here on this page, we can just come across some of that here. So you're gonna be, you're actually going to tell customers that, hey, we, we, we can do all the marketing for you. We can get the leads for you. We can do Facebook ads, Google ads, and uh, YouTube, Google, whatever. So you have to be good at all that stuff, right? You have to learn how all that stuff works. So let me just scroll up here and stop right there so you can see on my screen here. So what it is, is, is if you're asking yourself, well, I'm going to go after these clients and what if they don't want to use me or what? First of all, you got to think about it a different way. Every business out there, they're not becoming marketers. A, a, an attorney, let's go ahead and look at this one right here in, in the center screen here. An attorney is an attorney. They're not into marketing. They have an assistant. Usually the people who hire an assistant is to push office paper. They're not there to do the marketing. They're not there to figure out how to run ads. They don't know how. And if they try to do it, they're going to mess things up. It's not as easy as people think. You have to be trained to run Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, and understand just how the whole crazy marketing system works. If you don't get it right, it just doesn't work. You're not going to get the conversions. You're not going to get the leads like we get. We show on video. If you want to see how we do it, go back in some of the videos and watch how we do it. Especially me. I'm a pro at this and I run the ads and you can see the leads coming in one after another. So if you're wondering, well, how did you learn that? Is it, is it hard or what? I've been doing it for years. So over 10 years on social media marketing and before that I've been doing just the whole entire thing building sites and involved with everything for about 20 years so I started a long time ago but you don't have to spend that much time you can just learn and as things go you can't learn things overnight but you're going to have to learn how to do things so that's what social media marketing is you're going to tell them that you can do this and that and that. So let's take a closer look at this. So we offer the real estate niche, the attorney niche, and dental niche. That means you can 
tell real estate agents that you can get them clients. You can tell attorneys that you can get them clients, or you can tell you can tell the dental niche people that run dentist office that you can get them clients as well. So let's take a look at one here. I do have one open. This is a landing page that we send over right here, and you can see I'm scrolling down, and this is what the attorneys get. So we're basically telling them this is what we do. And there's our pricing packages and scroll all the way down to the bottom and at the very bottom they can contact us by book a call and we have a custom form laid out right here and if you're telling yourself you're asking yourself now I'm not good at calling I don't want to call or what somebody has to answer the phone I'm not telling you to call but when you do run ads I mean or whatever marketing you guys are gonna do we're gonna get into that in a second I don't want to go over myself let, let me just show you first this is what we send out so we're gonna send this out to impress the people who are trying to work with us we tell them what we're gonna be doing and basically we're pretty bold at this so we basically tell them like if we scroll down I believe this one has it here you don't pay anything until we get you business people that are just starting out and don't have the confidence yet to run ads or this and that they might say like well how does that work how can i tell somebody that i'm going to get them business especially for attorneys attorney leads are not cheap so that means you really got to know what you're doing if you're going to get into the attorney niche when you run attorney ads the keywords that you'll be paying to get leads off of google are kind of expensive so you have to really know that practice and make sure that you guys know how much it's costing you cost per lead uh, your CPL to understand how much that's really costing you because you're telling we we are we're actually telling the clients hey we're gonna get you the the business before you have to pay us so we're so they sign up and everything and the minute we get them business then it, it automatically turns on and we do that with the custom shopping cart that's why that's how we do that we don't use any invoices we don't do any of that I never have I don't even know how an invoice system works I always say that because I don't use one we use a shopping cart so that's what we we do so now if you're wondering like many people will do it a different way there's all kinds of people in this business which they'll cold call the attorneys and say hey you know we want to offer you this we're going to give you a seven day trial we're going to do this this space of social media marketing got so busy and i'm sure you'll hear this from other professional marketers that we've come to the point where we have to say this hey look we're gonna get you business or you don't pay because they're gonna hear our team saying this and they're gonna hear your team saying this and somebody else that's just pushing all this crazy stuff and are calling them left and right attorneys get hit hard dental offices get hit hard real estate agents get hit hard so whatever niche you're in if it's a popular niche then get ready to prove yourself or it's not gonna work but if you're getting into this business you should know how to run ads you should be really good at it be able to get these ads up and running and getting leads I mean fast within a couple days the same day whatever so it's really not hard once you understand what you're doing so again we have to tell them you don't pay until we get you business that's what we're doing that's why this works when we do that so we're gonna get into that more and again we you know this landing page was pretty much laid out to explain everything when we come over here to the lead packages if you guys are wondering this is one of the questions that we always get so I want to touch on this really quick people always say like can you talk about the packages that you guys do it that's automated what do you mean by automated when somebody clicks here you can see where it says subscribe 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 this is the lead package anybody that does social media marketing and understands Facebook versus YouTube and Google we all know that when somebody's looking to hire one of the niches that you're in think about that niche is it really the type of niche where somebody's going into Facebook to find them or are they going into Google most of the time it's going to be Google like think about if something happens to you and you need an attorney where are you gonna go you're gonna go to Google and say hey I need a personal injury lawyer you're gonna go to Google you're not gonna go to you know Facebook those are that's just your wall dropping in stuff that people didn't ask for and you're hoping that somebody's interested and you're trying to stop them in their tracks to look at something you know that's that's what there's a word that we use I can't think uh, oh, I can just can't think of the word I'm trying I'm trying to get but uh, that's what that is YouTube's the same thing that means YouTube's great you can run ads on 
YouTube and then you can come across and interrupt them and it, it just, you know, it, that's the kind of thing. When somebody's watching YouTube, you blast your ads everywhere and it does work, but it doesn't mean that they were looking for help. In Google, in other words, they are. So that's how that works. So right now, we tell them that uh, we're going to do all this stuff for them. And like I said, we promise them the, the world, basically. We're going to get them leads and we are charging $2,000 per month. And we tell them that it's 50-50, 2000 ad spent as well. That's what that is. If they want branding packages right now, we always change this too. Depends on how busy we get or if we're not busy or whatever on whatever niche we're doing. We're always testing it and it's not always me who's the one that's going in here and changing things. So if you see me on one video, then you see another video where the packages were changed. That's because somebody changed them for another niche. Maybe it was me, maybe it wasn't. So this one's a little bit less, 1,000 to 1,500, 1,000 to 15, because this is just branding. That means we're putting your name out there. Still going to get leads, but it's just a different way. The Google lead package, that's mainly the way the leads basically come come in. So that that's one of the questions we always get, and, and, and that hopefully that answers that. So let's go on a close-up question here. I do have those in my mind. So let me go here and hopefully this will answer the questions that I get. Okay, so how do you send it out without cold, cold calling? We always talk about do cold emails. You have to use a software specially built for sending cold emails. So one of the ones that we use is Mailshake. It's one of the best ones we find it. There's a few out there, Limblist and woodpecker i can't even think of the other words there's all kinds find the one that you're comfortable with make sure that you do understand how it works watch the videos that i put out on youtube on how it works this one here the slides that i have open are from a video that i did but i still use them for training like we're doing now so you guys understand so you need your soft your lead software you see me pointing here we always try to pack in about twenty thousand emails to go and we send them to mailshake and we send 24 7. So a lot of people will say, well, some of them go out, some don't, they get into spam. Yeah, you're going to get all that. You're going to get quite a bit of problems with cold email if you don't set up things right. There's tricks and tips for setting things up. You got to make sure you're staying true to your niche. What I mean by that, you've cleaned your list. Even if you're using D7 Lead Finder to pull your list, you still have to go through each CSV file and actually take out the people are not really true to the niche. What I mean by that, if you're looking for personal injury lawyers, you got to make sure that everybody in that list is only for personal injury lawyers or it doesn't work. And it doesn't matter if you've already told your list, that the company that you're using to create the list, that you want it clean. If you look deep inside the CSV file, you can see that it's not. Watch one of my videos on that. I talk about how to actually clean that. So that's what we're doing, as you can see on screen here, right? That's what we're basically running through. Let's go ahead and look at another slide here so you can see exactly what this is. So now what we're doing is we've created a script. So we send it through the cold email, right? That's how it's going out. And it, we send it to the presentation page and they book a call. It's that easy. And that would be, I believe, uh, this one here. So that, that's this is one of the ones for the attorney. This is the one that's going out. You can put a video on here. We took the video off. We had a video over here. We usually have two of them. So we're testing this one right now. And a lot of people always wonder if we really use some of the products that we created. This one's running. This is actually in test mode now. This one's actually running. So keep watching the videos and we'll try to make sure that you guys see how all that stuff works and we'll give you an update on what's going on and so that's what we're doing so we're sending out the script presentation page and they book a call so let me go ahead and scroll down so you guys can see more so we're running so you can do different things everybody always wonders are you sending 20,000 emails or 5,000 or what we always try to combine quite a few cam campaigns and this is the way we would set them up mail shake so one campaign contains 5,000 emails the other one another 5,000 another one 5,000 that's what they do 
So it's a total of 20,000 that does go out. It's all automated and they just fire out. That's what it looks like. If you guys are wondering, I'll just let you guys look at this slide for a second. That's what it looks like when you set this up. A lot of people don't understand that when somebody says that. And maybe a lot of you have never seen this type of system. Well, that's what it is. You got to keep in mind, though, if you mess up your open rate and you start doing things wrong with a cold email system, your open rate will drop drastically and it won't work. That's why a lot of people get worried about cold email software because that they think it doesn't work after a while. They, they see their open rate just shoot up and then it's great and then it just drops or your open rate goes low is what I'm saying. You should be 30% or basically higher and, and then you're, you're fine. You want people to open up to emails. The only reason why, let me just say this really quick, why your open rate doesn't is, is failing when it drops is because the niche, the list that you have inside, like say if it was personal injury lawyers, lawyers, if you look close inside the niche, there was other lawyers in there that do other things. They're not going to open those emails if they were customized for personal injury lawyers. So when we send out our scripts, they're already all customized only for personal injury lawyers, not for any other lawyer. So that we always stay true to the niche. So if something does not get open, that's one of the reasons why it's not being open. Okay, just wanna make sure everybody understands that. Okay, so I'm gonna to touch on this just for a little bit because this is one of the questions everybody was asking. I said, not everybody, but just a few of you guys. And I said I would go over this again, even though it's already on you know video. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of something. We're gonna go into the D7 lead finder and inside MailShake so you guys can see how we actually do it. Okay, so this is what we're basically doing. We use only five messages per campaign that fire out and we just change a little bit the body of the message and the title. Those are the tricks in the title. We just change it and that and that's it. You know, it's, we're not really doing anything like rocket science. We're just basically trying to get in front of these attorneys to let them know that we'll handle all their marketing for them and usually they're using their assistant and not to, excuse me, not to be mean about who somebody hired, but is that assistant really doing professional social media marketing? No, of course not. They don't even know how. It would be very rare to find somebody who really knows how to do all the crazy stuff that we do. It's just, we, we do so many different things. It's just, there's no way unless you get trained to do it. So once they see what we're doing, then they think twice, say, you know what? This company offered us guaranteed, you know, uh, cases. We're going to give you a case that's going to, you know, they're going to use you and you're going to close that case. You know, it's going to work. You're going to make, make money. And then they think about that and then they actually say, okay, we're going to go with you. That's the idea. It doesn't always work, but that's the idea. Okay. So that's the campaigns again, five messages per campaign. Like I was saying, there it is there. That's the 20,000 you know, set up 5, 10, 15, 20. So just five messages. What this means is each campaign only has five messages, not a whole bunch. When you do cold email, you don't need a whole bunch, just five, but you're constantly sending it out to hundreds and hundreds of people every day. So that's how it works. And we just put that there. So let's go ahead and look at something here. When you guys are inside D7 Lead, Lead Finder, if you guys are using this and you go to your bulk, you can see that this is what it actually looks like. Somebody said, can you show me what D7 Lead Finder looks like? I, I don't use it or what. So if you were to do personal injury lawyers and you wanted to see what it actually looks like, then this is what it is. It's here, okay? So you can view a, a single uh, state. You can just look at one and there's gonna be, but keep in mind, we're trying to niche down. We're only asking, for personal injury lawyers, that's it. So when you wanna download this, very easy to do. Just click here, it's gonna to go to the one state, and bam. Now what we did was, we downloaded all of it, okay, the, download the CSV file. And then what we did is, well myself, I actually did it myself, I'm one of the ones that do, do this too, I just don't talk about it. I go in there, and make sure you're comfortable with working with the CSV files. I'm not sure if I got a video on YouTube on that. I know I got one in the course that shows how to get around things and customize. So it's not hard to work with CSV files, but what I'm saying is we go in and we clean that 
CSV file. So it, if you download the whole thing, if you're just looking for personal injury attorneys, it comes out to 28,000. Okay, but once you clean it, it comes down to when I cleaned it only for personal injury lawyers, you can see how much we've dropped. So we dropped all the way down to 10,000 10, only. So now you got a perfect list that is completely clean and that's what you upload to MailShake. But what you do is when you put it in MailShake, you can only have, uh, I forget what size it is, but they can't be that big. In other words, I think it's one MB if I remember right. But what you want to do is, is break them down by 2,000 emails per list. So that's what we do. So we break them up by twos all the way down till we hit 10 grand. 10,000 emails that go out. So I'll show you what that looks like in one second. So that what that that is what we have done. We've downloaded the whole list, we've broken down, we put them in there, and that's what they look like, which would be here if I still have it open. Heard is here. You can see that there's list one, two, three, four, and five. They're all broke broke down. And we got on this one, the first test one going out is 5,000 only, and then we're gonna drop it another one and so forth so pretty easy to do it's not really all that hard i say the hardest part that took us time is to what well, took myself time is to clean the list make sure it's completely clean and I actually give you that list let me show you where that list is if you go here inside the course let me make sure i'm here inside the attorney down downloads here you'll find that here so you can see how i give i give it away here so there's 10,000 emails here. It's ready to go and it's actually broken down. When you open up the zip file, they're broken down. So all you gotta do is upload them and they're ready to go. And everything's here for the attorney niche. Like this is what it looks like, by the way. If you guys are inside the attorney down, downloads inside the funnel system, you get your presentation page. This one here is this one. So this is what this is. You just click it and it installs like that and you get the exact same landing page that I'm using here and then all that stuff we go back to here so we give you the presentation page the landing page onboarding process so what that is here if you're looking at kind of the things here onboarding that's the next question somebody was asking how does that work but everything's here you just click download and everything installs it's super easy to do this is inside the course that's uh, SMA profits course and everything's laid out here all the training everything uh, so let's see let me go back somebody was asking this here so let me touch on this real quick I know that's one of the questions that somebody had okay somebody wanted to know because I think I rambled on when you guys click here well not you guys when somebody's interested they click here it basically goes into the onboarding process automatically it's going to charge them first it's either going to charge them by this one set up on PayPal because you can't do the subscription unless it's PayPal only. So we use Stripe and PayPal. You could use Stripe, but you're going to have to do some customizing. So we use PayPal for signing up. Then it goes, as soon as they pay, it takes them straight into the automated system that we've cre created. And it's a uh, onboarding process. It asks them a whole series of questions automatically. They fill it out and then that's sent to you and you guys can go from there. In other words, we show how that's done here. Span that and you guys can see. Okay, so here's what we're basically doing. We're sending the presentation page, it's going out, and here's the onboarding right here. So you can see how this is all automated. So if the client, the attorney, likes what they see on the presentation page, they're gonna click PayPal, they pay, or they're going to book a call with you. Usually they're going to book a call first, ask questions. Then they'll go back and they'll click it. We say, if you're interested, just go ahead and purchase it because we're not going to do anything for you until you purchase, you know. But even if they want to ask how it works, you're going to get us clients first and then or, or one deal first and then we pay. We explain how that goes. They still need to click the button and then they're not going to really pay. It gives them like a little bit of time we usually have like a 30 day window until, and then bam, on the minute that client comes in, then it goes, so there's two ways to structure that. I can get into that later, send your questions over. And I'll tell you how we structure that. They get the thank you page, email sent out, but you can see this here is the onboarding process. That's how that's done. And then you can zap it out. If you guys don't know what Zapier is, it just, you can just send, it just action takes action taking software when something happens, 
it takes an action and it just, you just tell it what what to do when this person does this send it to their gmail send it here send it there whatever and the autom automated emails go out like always and it sends them a text message as well there's many different softwares you can use for that you don't have to use it but that's what we we do so everything's automated everything that you guys see here just happens like in seconds it doesn't take long to do any of this so back to let's go ahead and go back here actually here so again that's what we're doing here if you guys are trying to start your business for 2022 i would say if you're thinking about social media marketing make sure that you guys know how this works i'll go over this really quick so you choose one of these niches if this is a niches that you think you want to work with because that's the ones that we have set up and then you go ahead and you tell these these clients here we teach you how to do all this and we give you everything that you guys need we give you everything to get the leads to set everything up let me show you what's really cool too let me go in here we even teach you how to do we have a complete course on cold email outreach we show you how it's done i just dabbed in it there's a whole bunch more we show you how to run facebook ads for real estate or pretty much any you know business that you guys want to see you can actually see me getting leads after lead and i show you how to do that i've been doing facebook ads for years and just all kinds of things inside the SMA training but right here you can actually see me talking to clients here you watch these videos these are live calls me talking to clients and booking the whole entire thing to if you want to see how it works and how you would talk to clients. i don't do anything special i always tell i always tell everybody when our landing pages and the clients book with us i let the landing page do its own thing in other words what i'm saying is really quick and then i'll end this video but what i'm saying is somebody calls these landing pages are set up to answer all the questions for them so they're, so they're laid out in a way to where they read this they're just going to ask you something and you have to confirm it yes that's there you can see that here you just go ahead and answer i'm not trying to read you sell them on anything this is what we do we're gonna not charge you okay where you're gonna be set up and you will be charged as soon as the the lead start well as soon as you get a client that's where we're gonna start charging you and you know that's just the way it works everything's here and then for them to get started they got to click one of these buttons here and everything's automated from from there if they want to speak with you it's going to be book a call or it's going to be this one here you know they're going to fill out this custom form which is just point and click really easy these forms are filled out in seconds there's i mean these are custom forms that i created i'm the one that creates all this crazy stuff and so if you're wondering who creates all, all this me it's me that does all this and uh, you know and my team of course but it's me the main creator is me if you're if you're wondering so you can ask me any questions how things are done or what but that's what we're basically doing so see if i hopefully i didn't miss anything here so everything's automated that's what we're sending out like i was saying and if i go back here i was trying to end with this so everything's here go back and look at this for the people that have more questions what's included we're going to teach you how to run facebook ads and we're showing you guys how to do google ads as well coming up all right that one's coming coming up we got so much this thing is jam-packed we we'll give you all the high converting scripts we we'll give you quite a bit for root for real estate and some for the attorney niche and the dental niche as well a whole bunch are in there for the real estate because that was the original one and we're adding more and more but let me see if i'm forgetting anything here uh, one of the main things there's two huge there's all kinds of courses that are included in it's not just one the outreach is another complete training so this is like three three to actually about four hours total of training time on videos okay that's what this course is so it's jam-packed and you get the facebook training which is huge and you get all the custom forms everything's just uh plug and play download it install it and it installs with wordpress remember this is all wordpress so and there you go purchase here and so forth so that's what's included if you want to see what's inside here go ahead and look here so again we're always adding more and more i'm trying to make sure i answer all the questions but that's one of the easiest things to do for starting a new online business i would say social media marketing make sure you are that person that the mindset's ready you're not trying to do some free thing you're going to have to learn how things work this is not an overnight thing 
you need to become good at this. You're going to become basically good at understanding how this works first before you can just go ahead and tell everybody that you're great. You're not doing that. You're just telling people what they want to know. If they want Facebook ads, if you want, if they want marketing done by a professional agency, that's going to be you. So once you understand the whole process and everything just seems to get flower, we're just making it easier for you to get there. You don't have to build anything. And if you're wondering what you don't have to build, just go ahead and look here. And that's what you're basically doing. You get three niches and you get everything included. And we're always adding more and more. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to make sure that everybody understands how things work. I did show you a little bit here. There's all kinds of things you can click on from inside the course. This is actually where we're inside of the Facebook ad training, the cold email. I mean, it's just on and on. If I was to open this one, see here, I, this thing is jam-packed. It just doesn't want to load right because I'm filming. And you can see that here, it's jam-packed. This is one course in itself. There's 15 videos here and it's completely on exactly how to use Mailshake the way that we actually do it. We go into a live account. We even show you our open rate, the whole entire thing. It's one of our test accounts, but it's actually real. So we show you how all that crazy stuff works. And then this will come out clear for you. It's just because I'm filming. Anyhow, so go ahead and click on the links below this video. Any questions, send it over. But again, one of the easiest ways to do business is to do social media marketing or if you're looking for something else one watch one of my other videos coming up that's going to be on how to sell courses that's another thing which uh we're going to do a whole course on that as well so i think i answered everybody i, I don't want to keep going on and on okay so i will see you guys in the next video and don't forget to send your questions over and click on the links under the video or watch the next video coming up all right i'll see you guys